Congratulations on your induction into the Commonwealth Honors College. As a member of this community, you have an exceptional opportunity to fully explore your intellectual interests. Here, you will interact closely with your faculty and peers while accessing the incredible resources of our world-renowned research university. You can participate in groundbreaking research, publish in an academic journal, and compete for highly prestigious national awards. And of course, you will complete your honors thesis. Of equal importance as you pursue these goals is the unique and valued perspective you bring to our university community. By contributing your voice, your truth, you expand and enhance your intellectual environment. I'm excited for what lies ahead of you, and I encourage you to take full advantage of this opportunity. I also look forward to meeting you in person. Until then, once again, welcome to the university. Congratulations on your induction into the Commonwealth Honors College, and go UMass. Welcome to the University of Massachusetts Amherst and to the Commonwealth Honors College community. Regardless of where you are, you are now and forever part of the community that is our university and the Commonwealth Honors College. If you are far away, know that we think of you and hope to bring you here as soon as possible. We are also committed to providing you with a rich educational experience. Our faculty are spending this summer redesigning their courses for online delivery, following rigorous quality standards developed by our Center for Teaching and Learning and our Instructional Design Engagement and Support Group. The University Library is providing extensive online materials and a support system to help you find what you need. The library will even ship books to anywhere in the United States. We are gradually reopening research labs to undergraduate researchers and we have been shipping lab kits to students in appropriate courses. As I said, all of us are committed to providing you with a rich educational experience despite the pandemic. It is now my distinct privilege to introduce Mari Castaneda, the new Dean of Commonwealth Honors College. Dean Castaneda is entering her 20th year on the UMass Amherst faculty. She has chaired the Department of Communication, and served as Associate Dean of the College of Social and Behavioral Sciences. She is the recipient of commendations from the Massachusetts Senate and House of Representatives for her engaged scholarship and community contributions. She is also the parent of a Commonwealth Honors graduate.
She brings to the Commonwealth Honors College a profound commitment to equity and inclusion and a deep understanding of how public education changes people's lives. Hello, buenas tardes. It is an absolute pleasure to welcome and congratulate you, our first year in transfer students, the newest members of our community of scholars. And welcome to the family members and friends who have joined us as we mark the beginning of your time at UMass Amherst and Commonwealth Honors College. Before moving forward, I would like to acknowledge that our university resides on Nanatuck land. I'd also like to acknowledge our neighboring indigenous nations, the Nipuk and Wampanoag to the east, the Mohegan and Pequot to the south, and the Mohegan to the west, and the Abenaki to the north. Thank you to the ancestors who have made it possible for us to be here today. I also want to thank Chancellor Subaswamy and Provost McCarthy for adding your special messages to our welcoming event. And gracias to all the Commonwealth Honors College faculty and staff who have contributed to our induction today. The Commonwealth Honors College is a community of scholars that encourages students across diverse majors to engage deeply in research and learning in order to contribute original knowledge. In this moment of COVID-19, racial injustice, and deepening economic inequalities, it is more imperative than ever for an honors education to play a role in helping students see their studies of pressing issues as contributing to the common good in innovative and creative ways. We may be remote at the moment, but that will not stop the Honors College from providing a transformative and meaningful educational and co-curricular experience. Today's honors students are eager to make a difference in the broader social world through investigations into community architecture, institutional racism, environmental conservation, digital theater, public health access, and community networks, which are a few of the topics of recent honors theses in our college. The current pandemic has altered our lives, and as the world rapidly changes, I am confident that our honor students will be at the forefront of adjusting and adapting to these new realities and utilizing the moment to create opportunities for positive change in the world. All it takes is an open heart and an open mind, and I know that you will all step up to the challenge. In the remaining time we have together in this induction, you'll hear from students about their impactful experiences at the Honors College which will hopefully show you possibilities that are available to honor scholars. But first, I would like to introduce our next speaker, Professor Wilmore Webley, Associate Professor and Director of Pre-Med Advising in the College of Natural Science. Dr. Webley has been working with the Honors College for many years, teaching and guiding students in their research. A staunch advocate for effective student mentoring and excellence in educational pursuits, I am delighted that you have a chance to briefly experience the value of connecting with faculty at the onset of your educational and academic journey. I want to extend a warm welcome to our freshman class who has had a remarkable year. Most of you probably had your high school graduation via Zoom, or if you were lucky, you might have had your principal drive to your home to deliver your diploma. You certainly understand the concept of resilience. That is why I would like to spend the next few minutes talking with you on the topic from carbon to diamond. Carbon is an element that is essential to all life. It is found in all living creatures and without it, life would not exist the way we know it today. Carbon is the sixth element of the periodic table and appears in three forms naturally. Amorphous carbon, formed when a material containing carbon is burned without enough oxygen for it to burn completely, is what you see with black soot, like on a lampstand. Graphite is the second form of carbon, one of the softest materials known, and is the form of pure carbon that is primarily used as a lubricant. Graphite can also be used in electrodes because it is a good conductor. Diamond, the third naturally occurring form of carbon, is one of the hardest substances known to man. Diamond is the king of all precious stones, taking on the insignia of a girl's best friend and a man's most expensive investment. I should know, I got married just a week and a half ago. Diamonds never tarnish and can only be cut by diamonds of equal strength. 
graphite and diamonds are identical chemically. However, physically, they're very different. Diamonds are made of carbon that is heated to high temperatures under extremely high pressures deep within the Earth's crust until it crystallizes. What makes a diamond have value? In 1939, De Beers, the world's leading diamond company, popularized the four C's, cut, color, clarity, and carrot. Cut refers to the angles and proportions of a diamond. A diamond's cut is what gives it a sparkle and fire. Color refers to the degree to which the diamond is colorless. The best color for a diamond is to have no color at all for it to be colorless. Clarity refers to the presence of inclusions in a diamond. The fewer and smaller the inclusions are, the less likely they are to interfere with the passage of light through the diamond and the better the quality of the diamond will be. The fourth C is carrot. Carrot refers to the weight of the diamond. The greater the carrot, the more expensive the diamond. Again, I should know. I gave my wife a beautiful diamond. I would like to propose that there are four C's that will help to determine the value of your honors college educational experience. The first C is curriculum. The honors curriculum challenges you to find connections between academic disciplines, between theory and practice, between individual and community, and to learn to make a difference in the world. Like the angles carefully cut in a polished diamond, this multifaceted curriculum gives sparkle and fire to your undergrad experience. The second C is community. The Honors College is staffed by committed advisors who collaborate with departments, programs, and faculty across the campus, all with the same goal, to ensure that every student aspires to greatness. Today, what we know as the Commonwealth Honors College started with 23 undergraduate honors theses archived in the library in 1894. And today, it is over 3,000 strong. This living and learning community of scholars will provide you with the opportunity to interact with students who are as driven as you are. You will be in an environment where you can think critically, grow academically, and pursue novel ideas to solve the world's greatest problems. This adds clarity to your worldview and provides you with the translucency of a great diamond. The third C is cultural competence. Through the interactions you will have as a member of the Honors College, you will soon develop a knowledge of sociocultural factors that affect your interactions and behaviors. As an Honors student at UMass Amherst, you will come to recognize and appropriately address bias in yourself and others as you interact in effectively with people from diverse backgrounds. Like a good diamond, this will reduce the artifacts or inclusions of bigotry, misogyny, classism, and racism, allowing you to possess the clarity that adds value to your educational experience. The fourth C is character. There's a Russian proverb that says, a gem is not polished except by friction. None of us enjoys the grinding, the heat, the pressure, the cutting and the polishing of the trials and difficulties of everyday life. However, it is precisely those things that transform ordinary carbon into precious shiny diamond. Those who despise the process will remain graphite, made into cheap lead pencils. The quality of a person's life is in direct proportion to their commitment to excellence, regardless of their chosen endeavor. Bradley Ray Wardle wrote, a diamond in the rough is a diamond sure enough. And before it ever sparkled, it was a diamond of stuff. But someone had to find it, or it never would be found. And someone had to grind it, or it never would be ground. But it's found when it's ground and when it's burnished bright. That's diamond everlasting giving out its light. Oh, teachers of our young folk, don't say you've done enough. It may be that your rudest is a diamond in the rough. The Honors College experience will not always be easy, especially during this time of a global pandemic. You might not be immediately allowed to participate in some of the activities that have become a cornerstone of the Honors College experience. However, 
It is under these circumstances that many of you will do your very best work. The pressures and uncertainties, the unconventional strategies and pedagogical shifts will create the right conditions for you to transition from carbon to diamond. I have been privileged to mentor approximately 60 undergraduate students over the last 16 and a half years, a half of whom have been Commonwealth Honors College students. They have gone on to become medical doctors and physician's assistants, accomplished researchers and teachers, published authors after attending some of the top graduate institutions in the country. I am proud of them, not just because of their academic achievements, but because they have all sought ways to uplift humanity. I want to remind you that all labor that uplifts humanity is important and should be undertaken with painstaking excellence. Someone wrote, if one is called to be a street sweeper, they should sweep even as Michelangelo painted or Beethoven composed music or Shakespeare wrote poetry. He should sweep streets so well that all the hosts of heaven and earth will pass to say, here lived a great sweet sweeper who did his job well. As a UMass student in the Honors College, do not settle for less than your very best. Success comes when you start by doing common things uncommonly well. Give the world the very best you have and keep seeking better ways to deliver your best. I implore you to exceed expectations. I like the way Aristotle put it 2,300 years ago. We are what we repeatedly do. Excellence then is not an act, but a habit. I am glad that you have chosen UMass Amherst to help guide you on this important journey. It is my sincere hope that your experience here at UMass will indeed transform you from carbon to diamond and that you will become the gem that brightens someone's world. Welcome and go you mess. I work with honors advisors and a team of peer advising assistants to help honors students fulfill their honors requirements and with any other related questions or concerns. I've met tons of different honors students with interesting life stories which have influenced my understanding of the many different ways that all of us as students can shape our academic and honors experiences, confident that we have the support we need from both the honors college and UMass as a whole. Now, as I enter my senior year, I'm reflecting on all my time at UMass and in the Honors College, and I've had incredible opportunities that I didn't know were possible for me and I am so grateful for. It is my honor to welcome you here today to our great university and to some of the best years of your lives. When I was a senior in high school, UMass drew my attention as a school where I could truly customize my college experience. With hundreds of study abroad, domestic exchange, and research opportunities, as well as the five college community, you have the ability to take ownership of your college experience. I've also been fortunate enough to engage in study abroad, to immerse oneself in a different language, culture, and society, and to engage in a community other than your own not only encourages personal growth and curiosity, but it broadens your worldview and impacts your scholarship as well. Overall, don't be afraid to put yourself out there and to make your presence known on campus. With all the resources UMass has to offer, all your dreams are well within reach. You're not just entering UMass Amherst, you're entering a whole network of people that have made it their goal to support all of the students here. You're joining a whole group of students that can inspire you and be with you as you enter a career in the future. And these are the people that will change this experience for you. So reach out as hard as it is and let people know what you need so that they can support you. Welcome to the community. Welcome to the Honors College. We are so happy to have you and good luck. So as you embark on this new journey, despite this alternate universe we all live in, I urge you to think seriously about your ambitions and goals and allow us to help you reach these goals. There are many different ways to mold your honors experience into the one that's best fit for you. Take advantage of all the available resources as you learn lessons that you may take beyond your college career. Remember, you are the author of your own story. Make it one worth reading. I hope that I get to meet some of you, even if it's virtual. Welcome and go UMass. Community, excellence, exploration. This is honors at UMass Amherst. I'd like to end with a tradition that we have here at Commonwealth Honors College. Students, if you're near your team of supporters, 
your family members and friends who have helped you in this journey to UMass and the Honors College, I'd like for you to take a moment to thank them for making this opportunity possible for you. And if you're not near them, then send them a text and please let them know how much you appreciate their love and support. For family and friends participating in this event, now it's your turn to thank your student for their hard work for making this moment possible. Thank you for choosing to be part of the Commonwealth Honors College community. We are so happy that you're here and we wish you success and personal fulfillment in the year ahead. Go UMass!